Αμήν. Διαφυλάξε πάντα σε μας. Αμήν. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Paul asked me to share a few words with you today. Uh, I've never done this in front of a, uh, a telebroadcast before. So uh, it's good to, good to be here. Um, also, Kronia Pola to my godson, Lazarus, uh, who's working really hard. I uh, love you guys. Um, today and over the past few weeks, as I'm sure all of you can maybe sympathize, uh, I've been afraid. I've been scared. And I think that that is a very human reaction to, uh, to this situation. It comes from a, a fear of death. And that fear of death uh, is always an unwelcome visitor. Uh, mankind was never meant for death. We were never meant to be in this position. And because of our separation from God, we... Uh, we experience fear when we think of death. And that fear leads us to try and talk ourselves out of that fear with pride, saying, you know what, I'll just handle it anyway, I'll figure it out, uh, which leads to so many other problems in our lives, sin and uh, the passions, the things that cause us to suffer. And we see this fear uh, in today's gospel passage arise in Mary, the sister of Lazarus, who is so sad and sorrowful that when she hears that Christ has come, her fears drive her to him. And she said, if you had not been here, if you had been here, O Lord, my brother would not have been dead. So she has this fear that God can't protect any, cannot protect her from death. And that is something that I really identified with because I can't protect myself from this virus if I get it. I can't protect other people if I get it. I have to do the best and I have to, I have to deal with the fear somehow. And this fear of death that manifests itself in these ways where we lash out at God, where we lash out at other people, other places, other things, uh, is, is shown in its, its most human form, in its most vulnerable form today. However, we see Christ's very human reaction to, the, to death. Uh, it, it's, it's his human way of seeing how he interacts with death, which is that he laments and sorrows for it. He sees his creation, he sees his children, he sees his friend, he sees his family, and he sees them in the clutches of death. And in one of the most elegant and beautiful passages in all of Christendom, Jesus wept. And it is from that humanity that we then encounter Christ's divinity. His humanity mourns and laments the, the pain that comes with death. But his divinity decides and decides to show death who is boss. He demonstrates that he is the resurrection and that even though his children are afraid of death, he is not. And that is what will carry me through this whole week, will carry me through this, this plague, will carry me through the very gates of death itself is knowing that I am afraid of, God, of death but Christ is not. And today, in his, re his ripping of Lazarus from death, he shows death that he's on notice, that he has been warned, and that his time is coming. And we look forward to that day, that, which is the resurrection. And whether we are in our homes, whether we are in our churches, whether we are in our closets scared, that resurrection will come and will free us from death. And through faith in that resurrection, through believing in Christ, that he is the resurrection, that he is, reigns over the living and the dead, 
All of a sudden, I'm not afraid of death as much anymore. Amen. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.